say you're browsing Androinica and you read a review of the NPR news app and you say okay that sounds good I want to get that app typically you scroll down and you scan this barcode but what if you don't have your phone handy or what if there are multiple apps you want to get at one time uh, an easy way to do that without having to scan is use AppBrain. AppBrain is basically a, a desktop browser of the Android market. The same apps that you see in the, the market, you're going to see on, on their website. Now, what separates this from AndroLib or Circuit is that you can actually, quote unquote, sync your apps. So when I'm going to browse through and I see the NPR News app, I click on it. And I say, okay, I can read the reviews, I can read the comments that people have, the change logs to see what's different. But what really interests me is that I can click this little install button right here. So when I press install, when I go to my phone, it's going to know that I want to install this app and then it's going to take me to the market automatically. So I'm going to add another one and I'm going to click handset. And I'm also going to get uh, Raging Thunder Light. So now let's look what happens when I go to my phone. When you download the AppBrain Market Sync application, your phone can now communicate with the actions you performed on the desktop. So as you see now it knows NPR News, Handset, Raging Thunder, and a couple other apps I selected are there. Uh, the changes you make on one will also affect the changes on the other. So if I decide I want to uninstall credit card payoff, uh, I can do it here and it'll remove it from the phone as well as from my list of apps. So I'm going to change my mind about one app. I'm going to get rid of Raging Thunder. Okay, now I'm going to perform all changes and that'll download the other apps. Now you can't download all apps at once because remember you have to set your permissions for each app. But it will take you to each app and let you purchase it or download it if it's free. When you press the back button, it'll go to the next application. So in a way, it's kind of like bookmarking. That's why I say it's not a true sync because the market doesn't currently allow you to do that. But it does let you have multiple apps stored at one time. So now I'm downloading NPR News. And while that's downloading, I'm going to press the back button again. And uh, that's the last one, so it's not going to take me to anything else. But basically, you log in with your Google credentials. It's uh, very easy to do. And that's pretty much it. Now my phone's going to be downloading those three apps.